Here we go then. Welcome along to Friday on House of Games, our final day. We're going to find our winner. I've been joined by four famous faces all week. The trophy has moved slightly nearer. <laughs> Look at that. Someone's going to win that trophy at the end of today's show. Let's meet our players. They've been here all week. They are Kelly Cates, Hello. Tiger Drew Honey, Desiree Birch and Matt Allwright. <laughs> what a week it has been. Kelly, let's take a look at the weekly leaderboard as it stands, going into our final day. Desiree and Tiger battling it out for bronze there <laughs> on seven points. Matt on 13. Now, Kelly mm. in the lead. Matt won the first two days. Mm -hmm. You've won the last two days. Yes. Double points Friday. Whoever wins today is going to win. Nervous? Not nervous. I think it's all about who wants it more. And who do you think does want it more? I'd like to pretend that I don't really care, mm -hmm. but I will care, but only if I win. Kelly wants to win. That's, the, that's <laughs> yeah, loosely that's translated there. <laughs> Tiger, mm. you and Desiree tied for third place. I get the sense that Kelly and Matt are competitive with each other. I get the sense you're not hugely competitive with, with each other, but you would quite like to come third. Yeah, I mean, I'd quite like to come third, but it feels like less pressure than if I was vying for first. Oh, my goodness, you wouldn't want to be <laughs> yeah, one of these no, two. No. Oh, God. No. I mean, you, me and Desiree are going to have fun today. These two are going to have a terrible time. <laughs> yeah, we can sort of can sit you imagine? back Yeah, and chill out, just chill watch. Out. Desiree, welcome back. Lovely yeah. to have you here, one of our finest comedians. And not a bad quiz as well for somebody who knows nothing, nothing about the about UK. Nothing about the country that I'm in. quite impressive. Now, Kelly has won two prizes already this week. Shall we have yeah. a look at today's prizes? I know we're playing for the trophy today, but we also have daily prizes. <laughs> We have slippers, we have a tankard, we have a pillow and duvet set, a toolbox and some eau de cologne. <laughs> what would you go for, do you think, today, Desiree, in the unlikely event that you, you were to win? I would go for that toolbox, actually. It's I, good, right? Yeah, it's a good toolbox. I only have a bag of sundry tools right now, so I need a box for it. Oh, this is perfect. Matt, it's been a hell of a battle between uh, yes. you and Kelly. Any tactics or you just have to carry on as you've been carrying on? Honestly, I think Kelly wants it more. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and good luck to her. I, to be honest, I really enjoy the question. It's, it's just a laugh. I literally do not buy a word of what Matt just said, do you? <laughs> not a word of it. Shall we begin? Yes. Yeah. Let's start with round one, and it is... Synonyms in this round. We've taken some famous movie quotes and we put them through a thesaurus. We're going to show you what the quote is. We just need you to tell us the name of the film that it's from, OK? Kelly, as usual, we will start with you. Here is yours. What film is it from? You will require a larger vessel. You're going to need a bigger boat from Jaws. From Jaws, 1975. Well played, Kelly. As always, picking it up straight away. <laughs> You require like a vessel, you're going to need a bigger boat. Tiger, mm. what film is this quote from? Avenues, where oh. we're progressing, we don't require avenues. 1985. No, I don't think I know oh, it. Oh, no. Look, <laughs> all three of them <laughs> immediately on the buzzers. Tiger, shall we time you out? No, I'll just guess, and the avenue might be road, and the Italian job had cars in it. And it's not as obvious as with, you're only supposed to blow the doors off. So you're so going to go guess the Italian, Italian job. Italian job, is that right? No. Incorrect. Oh, oh. look at that, Matt. <laughs> not competitive, though, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> you don't it's want it enough. It's 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 yeah, help it. I couldn't help it. I had no choice. <sighs> What's the answer we're looking uh, for? Back to the future. It is back to the future, absolutely. <laughs> well done. Yeah, roads where we're going, we don't need roads. Desiree, tell us what film this is from, please. You are unable to cope with accuracy. Oh. You are unable to cope um, with is accuracy. It I don't know the movie. A Few Good Men. Is it A Few Good Men? You can't handle the truth. It oh, is A Few well Good done. Men. Yeah. Well done. You can't handle the truth. <laughs> That's a relief. I don't know the film. Well done. Who Matt, here we go. This is your sir. What film is this from? I have perpetually been contingent Aww. on the goodwill of the unacquainted. Uh, I'm going to say Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. Cat on a Hot Tin Roof, says Matt. Let's take a look. Is that right? It is incorrect. <laughs> Desiree Birch. Streetcar Named Desire. Oh. Oh, it is a streetcar named Desire. Unlucky Matt, well played, Desiree. The theatre one. 
I have always <laughs> depended on the kindness of strangers. Yes, the other one, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so exactly what any quizzer at home is going, oh, it was the other one. <laughs> so annoying. <laughs> Kelly, back to you for your next question. What is this film? Large Texas metropolis, we've acquired an issue. What, is it Apollo 13? Is it Apollo 13? Correct answer. Oh, well God. done. Houston, we have a problem. Tiger. Mm. Here. <laughs> oh, it's going to be OK. <laughs> it's going to be OK. What film is this from? Convivial Famishment Recreations and May the Gambling Chances Be Forever Weighted Towards You. The gambling chances haven't really ever been weighted towards me. All right, fingers on buzzers. Kate's fingers on buzzers. Oh, yeah, let's just get over with. Should we time you out? Mm -hmm. Fingers on buzzers, everyone else. Kelly beats all right this time. Kelly, what film is it? Is it The Hunger Games? Is it The Hunger Games? It absolutely is. Very well played. <laughs> Happy Hunger Games, and may the odds be ever in your favour. Well played. Desiree, here's yours. What film is this from? Pre-luncheon salutations, most easterly country on the Indochina Peninsula. Oh, my. Oh, um, is this from um, Good Morning Vietnam? Is it Good Morning Vietnam? Of course it is. Pre-lunch oh, salutations, Good Morning Vietnam. <laughs> that is the time of the film and it was the uh, speech itself. That looked much more complicated than yeah. it was, didn't it? <laughs> yeah. Matt, last question in the round and it is for you. What film is this from? Greetings to the geological period between the Triassic and the Cretaceous public garden. I'm going to say welcome to Jurassic Park. So the film is... Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park. Is that right? <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> welcome to Jurassic Park. Very well played. How did you do at home there? Once you get your eye in, they're, they're gettable. Should we look at the scores at the end of that round? On our final Friday, someone is going to win the trophy. Here's how the early running has been made. Tiger, yet to get off the mark. Matt, you have two points. Kelly and Desiree are our leaders on three. Round two. Let's see what we've got today. You complete me. You complete me now. Round two is a pairs game. As always, <laughs> Tiger, the person in last place gets to choose a partner. Yeah, um, thanks. Once again, it's you. <laughs> yep, thanks. Uh, the last three days, I think, you've, uh, you've chosen Matt. I have. I have to consult with Matt properly because he's actually in this thing. Yeah, and, yeah. And he might not want... Oh, you know, me. Calm oh, now. His team. Calm oh now. my gosh, single tear. So, <laughs> what I'm going to say, if you don't choose me, I'll be upset. Oh, <laughs> okay, that's get up. Oh, he's chosen Matt again. There we go. Desiree and Tiger, Good if you stuff. change Good seats. Stuff. Now, this is how we play this round. I'm going to give you a series of questions. Fingers on buzzers, everybody. Every single question has a two word answer. If you buzz in, you must only give me the first word of the answer. <laughs> Your partner will then give me the second word. Oh, no. OK? So, oh, do you know sorry. it? And do you trust <laughs> your partner of knowing the second <laughs> bit of it? OK? And a point to you both if you get it right. Very best of luck, Matt. <laughs> Here... <laughs> Here is your first question. What is the French name of the highest mountain in the Alps? Yes, Matt. Mont. Mont. Uh, tiger, the second word is? Blanc. Is the correct answer. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> the French name of the highest mountain in the Alps. Here is your next question. Fingers on buzzers, everybody. Which band had UK top ten hits with Kinky Afro and Step On? That is Kelly. Happy. Desiree? Family? <laughs> Is incorrect. You can buzz in on the other podiums. Yes, Matt. <laughs> you just need to say the second part. Oh, oh phew. Mondays. Correct. Did I get a point then? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I did nothing. How about that? Actually, I chose the right partner. You chose the <laughs> right partner. I did. Exactly that. The next question is a picture question. What is the title of this painting? Yes, Matt. The. Yes, 
Tiger. He's given you half the answer. What's the rest of it? Oh, no cheating. Well, just say, look at the picture. That's fair. No cheating, Woman. Sir. The woman is incorrect. Desiree? Yes. Is the correct answer. Well done. A point to Desiree and to Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> Next one is a piece of music. What is the title of this oh, song? Gosh. Every time, just like the last, on the ship tied to the mast. Yes, Kelly. Golden. Desiree. Uh, memories. Is incorrect, I'm afraid. <laughs> Gentlemen, Matt. Brown. Golden Brown by the Stranglers is the right answer. <laughs> Going to show you a picture now. What is the name of the green character? Yes, Matt. Soup. Soup. Tiger. <laughs> um, if you, uh, Matt, I'm all not right. doing anything. Soup. Spoon? Don't make don't don't make me rogue traders you. <laughs> <laughs> not soup spoon, I'm afraid. Kelly. Dragon. Dragon. Oh. I tell you what, you two would be an awesome team. <laughs> yeah, can I just say that? <laughs> <laughs> soup dragon is the correct answer. Point for Desiree and Kelly. Here's the last question in the round. Fingers on buzzers, everybody. What is the full name of the Icelandic singer whose albums include debut and post? Yes, Matt. <laughs> Björk. Björk is the right first answer. So all we need from you, Tiger, Matt's very kindly set you up to give us <laughs> Björk's surname. <laughs> Björkesson. It's, it's a good guess. Good guess. It's, it's wrong, but it's a good guess. Anybody fancy that? That's a guess. Desiree. Uh, is it Lars' daughter? Ooh, it's not a million miles away. It is mm. Björk Goodman's daughter. Good. Very well done if you said that at home. That's the end of that round. Desiree and Tiger, if you swap back again. Sorry, bro. No, you I would have guessed. Did yes. Guess. Let's take a look, shall we, at how that leaves the scores after our second round on this all-important Friday House of Games. Who is going to walk away with the trophy? Oh, Ooh. God. It's three points for Tiger, five points for Kelly, Desiree and Matt. <laughs> Shall we play round three? Yeah, Here we that's... go. What are we playing today? It's going to be... <laughs> the elephant in the room. Before I tell you how to play this round, I'm going to tell you what the elephant in the room is today. And it is... That, what are we looking at there? A pen. Pen. I know, I know something. Pen, pen, says Tiger. So, pen is the elephant in the room. I'm going to ask you a series of general knowledge questions. You just have to answer them, but don't use the word pen, please. Oh, wow. Wherever it may appear, even in the middle of words, just don't say the word pen. Shall we begin? Well, question mm. one, fingers on buzzers. Buzz in when you know the answer. Here's your first one. Rockhopper, macaroni and emperor are all types of which bird? Yes, Matt. Gwyn. Gwyn is the correct answer. Pen uh, Gwyn. Oh. Yes, see how it works? Yeah. yeah. Ah. Here's your next one. Which sitcom about a shopkeeper and his nephew starred Ronnie Barker and David Jason? Yes, Matt. Oh, all hours. Oh, all hours is a correct answer as well. Here is your third question. The song I Am the Very Model of a Modern Major General features in which Gilbert and Sullivan operetta? Yes, Kelly. I'm afraid I'm going to have to push you. It's gone. You are timed out, I'm afraid. Desiree. Pirates of Ants? Is it Pirates <laughs> of... No! <laughs> Yes, Matt. Pirates of Zants. Pirates of Zants oh. is the correct answer. I'm so sorry, oh. Desiree. Oh. Oh. Pirates no, of Zants. Yeah, that's right. I was literally thinking of HMS Pinafore and I was thinking, oh, hold on a oh. minute, how does that? <laughs> Next question is a piece of music. What is the name of this jazz standard? Waiting for a package of sunshine and flowers. If you want... Matt. Knees from heaven. Oh. Knees from Heaven is the correct answer from Pennies from Heaven. Oh. 
I mean, this guy, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here's your next question. Which antibiotic was discovered by Alexander Fleming? Yes, Kelly. Isillin. Isillin is the correct answer from penicillin. Well played. Uh, here's your next clue. In a story from The Thousand and One Nights, which two-word phrase does Alibaba use to enter a cave for the stolen treasures? Matt. Oh, sesame. Is the correct answer. It is Oh, sesame from Open Sesame. Oh. Here's your next one. What word denotes the last yes, Ultimate. Kelly? <laughs> Ultimate is the right answer. Well played. Ultimate from penultimate, of course. Here is your last question. What is the title of this song? Question, tell me what you think about me. I buy my own diamonds and I buy my own rings. Only ring your celly when I'm feeling lonely. When it's all... Yes, Kelly. In debt woman. In oh. debt woman. Yeah. It's incorrect, I'm afraid. <laughs> Yes, Desiree. Oh, I have to do um, Indident Woman. Is the correct answer. <laughs> Very well done. Indident Woman, part one, to be completely specific, but you're quite right. <laughs> By so Destiny's fun. Child. That brings that round to an end. A very, very strong round for Matt. All right there. So we take a look at the scores. Kelly got a couple of those. Keep yourself in it, I think. Beyonce just denying you at the end there. Three points for Tiger. Desiree, you have six. Kelly, seven. Matt, three-point lead, ten points. <laughs> Two rounds to go. Shall we play round four? Mm. OK, good luck to you all. It is going to be... And the answer isn't. Now, you've all done a little bit of homework for this one. I'm going to ask each of you a question. I'm then going to show you four multiple choice answers. One is the correct answer. The other three have been written by your opponents to try and fool you. <laughs> get a point if you get a right answer. They get a point if they fool you. Kelly, you ready to play? Mm -hmm. OK, here is your question, Kelly. What is the scientific name for a llama? OK, you're going to have four options. One is correct, the other three were made up <laughs> by these. So I'm looking forward to reading these. <laughs> oh, man. Let's take a look. Which of these is true? Is it Alpaca majoris? Is it Camellus unilumpus? Is it Llama <laughs> glama? Or is it Malacti capiensis? Goodness me, a lot to unpack there. One of those is right. Well, I don't think it's the middle two. Oh, really? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> the first one, I think, sounds believable, but then that equally makes it sound like something somebody could have made up. So if that has been made up, I would reckon that was made up by Matt. The other one, Malacti capiensis, you don't normally have Zs in the in Latin words. I'm going to go for alpaca majoris. So alpaca majoris and hope it's not a, a clever double bluff from Matt. <laughs> yeah. All right. So you've gone for Alpaca Majoris. Is that the correct answer? It is not the correct answer. What was the correct answer? Oh, you are kidding no, me. No way. No way. So you haven't won a point, but somebody's won a point. Whoever wrote Alpaca Majoris, and that is oh, Matt nice. Allwright has won a point. Oh, God, that's Yeah. 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 <laughs> Who wrote <laughs> Camellus Unalumpus? That was Desiree. <laughs> And that's a good one, Tiger. Yeah, yeah, I, really, I imagine you've got a few people at home on Malacti, because yeah. people would have thought along your lines, I think. That's uh, unlucky. A point for Matt oh Allwright. Oh Tiger, your question now. What's the answer to this? Isoptrophobia is the fear of what? One of these is correct, three of them made up by your opponents. Is it the fear of shivering, biblical fables, Seeing yourself in a mirror or grapes? These are good wrong answers, everybody. These phobia words are mm. so kind of random that it, yeah. I literally feel like it could be any of them. Something's drawing me to biblical fables. You're going to go for biblical fables. 
Uh, isoptrophobia is a fear of biblical fables. Is that a correct answer? It is not, I'm afraid. What have oh. you gone for at home? Let's find out. What is the correct answer? Seeing yourself yeah. in a mirror. Yeah. So, you haven't won a point, Tiger, but somebody has. Who wrote biblical fables? Desiree oh, Birch Desiree. wrote it. I mean, it. I just started with fables, but biblical made it sound like something to be afraid of. Oh, well, that's <laughs> it, it works beautifully. <laughs> Very well done. Who wrote the others? Shivering. Kelly, you fooled me. That's what I would have gone for. And Matt wrote grapes. <laughs> Desiree, here is your question. Just got yourself a point there for fooling Tiger. Can he return the favour now? In an early draft of Toy Story, Woody's character was going to be called Tinny. What was the original name for Buzz Lightyear in this early draft? One of these is the right answer. Three of them made up by your opponents. Again, I look forward to seeing what you come up with. <laughs> so, Desiree, which of these do you want to go for? Luna Larry. Lance Cosmos. Yes. These are good. Yeah, they are. Apollo Star. Jet Armstrong. Respectfully, guys, you should all work for Pixar. Yeah. <laughs> that is tough. I think it's one of the first two. I think I'm going to go for Lunar Larry. It feels like an early draft. There's a race, there's Lunar Larry. Do you agree at home? Have you gone with something different? Lunar Larry, was that the original name for Buzz Lightyear? It Ooh. was indeed. Yeah. Very well played. Well played. You wrote Lance Cosmos. That was me. That was to yeah, oh, great you've name. got a nice. point. It is yeah. a good name. Polo Star was <laughs> Kelly and Jet Armstrong was Matt. All good names, by the way. All good names. Mm. Matt, it's now your turn. Final question of the round. Can you answer this? In the early 1990s at the University of Cambridge, scientists developed the world's first webcam. What was the first thing they recorded? Was it themselves, a rat maze, a coffee pot, or a cat? I don't think it's a rat maze, because that's confusing two different types of scientists. So there's the rat maze scientist and there's the webcam guys, and they're in totally different buildings. Themselves, if they'd done that, no one would have remembered it. So that's not such a big deal. A cat. The internet has just been used for pictures of cats, so I think that's where that's come from. I have a feeling that they used it to see when the coffee pot was empty or full. For some reason, that's ringing a bell. So I'm going to go with coffee pot. Matt has gone for a coffee pot. Let's find out, was the first webcam recording a coffee pot? It was, Matt. Very well played. Coffee pot is exactly right. Your reasoning was absolutely spot on. Who wrote the others? Let's take a look. Themselves was Kelly, Rat Maze was Tiger, and a cat, I think I might have been tempted by the cat, cat. was Desiree. The outfoxed all of yeah. us. That's the end of that round. Well played, everybody. Um, One round to go. One round before we hand over this beautiful trophy. Shall we see the scores before we play our final round? Here they are. Tiger has three, Kelly seven, Desiree eight, Matt has 12 points. Ooh. Let's see what the final round is. It is always the same. It is always... Answer smash. Uh, as always, I'll show a picture and there'll be a clue. Smash the answers together. That's the answer we are looking for. Here is your first category in the all-important final. It is stars of the silver screen. Those will be the pictures. Smash them into the clue below. And what have you got? Best of luck, everybody. Here is your first one. In the Charles Dickens novel, Oliver Twist, by what nickname is Jack Dawkins better known? Matt. Humphrey Bogartful Dodger. Humphrey Bogartful Dodger is the correct answer. Smash them together. Humphrey Bogart and Artful Dodger. You get Humphrey Bogartful Dodger. Here's your second question. What name is traditionally given to the flaming plant through which God revealed himself to Moses? Yes, Matt. Audrey Hepburning Bush. Is the right answer, Audrey Hepburning Bush. Here's your third. In which long-running US TV show did Tyne Daly and Sharon Gless play two New York City police detectives? Yes, Matt. Jimmy, Cagney and Lacey. 
is the right answer. Very well done. Cagney, James Cagney and Lacey. Got quite a lot of work to do now, Kelly. <laughs> here, is your, here is your next category. Bodily organs. Mm. Which long-running children's TV show featured the characters Zippy, George and Bungle? Yes, Kelly. Brainbow. Brainbow is the correct answer. Well played. <laughs> Here's your next picture and next clue. What device comprised of a float attached to a lever controls the water level in most domestic toilet systems? Matt. I bullcock. <laughs> Here's the correct answer. Wow. <laughs> Here's your next one. Which country music trio released the 1999 single There's Your Trouble? Yes, Kelly. Appendixie Chicks. Appendixie Chicks nice is the one. correct nice. answer. Well played. Nice Appendix <laughs> and Dixie Chicks smashed together. Here's your next category. Fashion designers. Those will be the pictures. There'll be clues beneath them. Which alcoholic mixture is traditionally added to gin to make a pink gin? Yes, Kelly. Vera Wangastura Bitters. <laughs> oh, wow. Brilliant. Vera oh, Wangastura nice. Bitters. Yeah. Brilliant. If you've only been here this week to say that, <laughs> it's yeah. been worth it. Vera Wangastura Bitters, well played. <laughs> that is the end of the round. It's the end of the show. I'm going to pretend there's some jeopardy. There <laughs> is it. Let's take a look at our daily winner. And it is, of course... Mr. Matt Allwright, 16 oh. points. Look at that. Look at that. 10 points for Kelly. Nothing you could do there, was it? Mm. He was ahead already, and then boom, boom. Yeah. First two answers in. Closed the whole game down. Desiree, third place with eight points. Tiger, you got three points. Matt, what prize would you like? Let's remind ourselves of them. The slippers, the tankard, the eau de cologne, the toolbox, and what, the duvet pillow set. What I'm going to do, Richard, is I'm going to take the toolbox and I'm going to give it to Desiree. Oh, that is nice. Oh, that's exactly so right. Thank you. That's got a tiny bit condescending, but it's lovely to see. No. It is lovely I, to see. I love when condescension yeah. comes with stuff. Yes, exactly. Yeah. It's great. At least you got something out of it. Yeah. Exactly right. Very well played, Matt. Let us take a look at who is going to take home this wonderful trophy. Well, Fourth place, Tiger really with nine that. points, 11 points, Desiree in third, well played. <laughs> Kelly with 20, there is 21 wow. points. Wow. Matt, one That's point crazy. winner. Yeah. It's how it's been all week, right? Yeah. All week. You won by one point, you've yeah. won one, one point. A couple of times you've won the whole show by one point. Matt, all right, please come and collect your trophy. Yes. Well done, sir. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you very much. Your winner, Matt Allwright. <laughs> Kelly, Tiger, Desiree, Matt, been an absolute pleasure having you here all week. Been a pleasure having you here all week as well. Until next time on The House of Games. WD-40 and all the joints.